Here we go. Okay, Matt. Get ready. Hello and welcome to iRacing. Here we are at Ye Olde Silverstone in Radicals. Lovely little cars. Insanely fast, very grippy, fixed setup. 16 laps. I've qualified ninth, was it? I think it was ninth or thereabouts. So let's see what happens. Hoping for a clean one. We've escaped away at the start, and that's a good indication. Unfortunately for Mikhaili, he's gone. Fix set up, so again, very much a drafting race this. And where is everybody going? Kevin Waring and Huang seem to have slightly dubious connections. Tyres take about a lap to warm up, so you've got to just be very careful on the first lap because these cars... Oh, hello. Bit of bouncy bouncy. These cars have um, a lot of power going through the rear wheels. You can light them up easily. Just try and defend from Robert here. Good lad. Hopefully he's not gone. Where's he, where's he gone? Keep disappearing and popping back. Good grief, that's not going to be annoying, is it? Anyway, it's going to be about 25 minutes this race. Hopefully we can get a respectable finish. Where are we at the moment? Fifth. That's all right. End the race now, please. Mr. Blinky, isn't he? Anyway. Haven't done a radical race in ages. I thought, well, the old Silverstone, yeah, it's fairly decent. That time's just over a minute and a half. Could be a good race as long as we um, avoid trouble. Here comes Robert. Stay ahead. Who is it? No, I'm going to go too wide Still through there. everything. There he is. One point two seconds to Felix behind. Mikhail is not having a good day, is he? Basically, off at T two or whatever it was, and now he's screaming at somebody for braking. Now he's calmed down a bit, but he's obviously not having a good day. Maybe this race isn't for you, Mikhail. Anyway. Another one in the books. Again, it always takes me a few minutes to get my head around the fact that this is the other side of Silverstone, so the main start-finish straight is now where the... Um, Will turn up, start finish straight is and oh he's gone. That's Juan, see if Juan. So maggots and Beckett's is the complex you come to first on this layout from 2008, as opposed to halfway around the track as it is today. Down the hangar straight towards Stowe. Bridge we've just gone under is the pedestrian bridge that I always use to get onto the circuit. Most people do if you've parked your car here, basically. Coming down to Vale, there should be a big grandstand on the right about here. This is an alternate layout. So we haven't had the sharp left, we've had basically the formation lap for GT cars. And again, this is a bit of a shortcut. So it's a much faster circuit than you'd normally find on the Legacy. Slow car on the left, who's gone? It's Kevin. Can we get past him? There he is, coming back on. Can we? No. Shut that door. 
We've got Felix right behind us now. careful on these because you can come through really quick and if you come through even remotely a little bit quicker than the car in front of you it is possible that you're gonna find yourself hitting them from behind and because of the shape of the cars there we go oh, you can't see because of the safety roll bar thing the shape of the cars means if you hit a car from behind the car in front of you is going to go airborne behind Felix. We seem to be going backwards a bit at the moment. Not ideal, but we're still 6th or 7th. Again, higher than we start, please. And with as few incident points as possible. Who we've got here, Joshua. Very tight from these last two corners. Off we go. Is he going to try and switch back? Not from there, he's not. We're going to go too wide. Oh, he might be though. No, again, oh, easy to I go. We're not going too through here, are we? Right. But yes, we are. Whoa, whoa, Josh, Josh, Josh. Oh, one X, did on that. Now we're kind of greasy for the rest of the complex. And now we've lost a bit of time to both Josh and Diego behind. Well, we didn't want that. That is unfortunate. back on. Is that the longest name in iRacing? Juan Manuel Torresano Diaz Gali. Wow. Oh, Diego's dropped back. He's obviously had a bit of an error. Whoa! Back end was well going there, but managed to catch it. feedback dialed in okay you can feel the car going and you can catch it if you recognize it early enough otherwise that would have been a horrible spin behind. Guys in front are fairly close. Seven tenths of a second covering three cars. You never know. Someone's going to react just a few microseconds too slow. A little bit of bullying going on there from Joshua. He's got around fit well. He's been taking his place from Felix.
speaker's going to be coming round at some point. Not in this corner though. in an awkward position as possible. Slow car ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, that sent me a bit deep. Luckily, Vika's copied me. Let's go there. It's Robert in front. He was all out of shape. Wheel to wheel stuff, no contact. If it goes through, well, so far, all the, the actual close racing stuff has been really good. We've had quite a few corners where we've been too wide and there's been not even a, a sniff of contact. He's behind now, Neil Faulkner's behind, so he's caught up. And then Mark Axelson, he was ahead of me at one point, so... I think, was he? No. quick through that corner. His little martini livery. Oh, 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 oh spin. Oh, don't hit him. On the right side. Wow, well, that's good. And he's also really slowed down Neil. And he's between us. So that might be to my advantage. Might not. We'll soon find out. Oh, another one gone. That was Kevin Wary. That was a good couple of corners. Back up to sixth. This is a really good race so far. The thing about the radicals as well is most of the tracks you tend to have a high average speed. So it's you spend nearly most of your time in, in top gears. So it's a quick car. It's almost not quite, but almost GT3 pace. Not through there, Neil. And because they're usually... Oh, he's gone wide. Because they're... Oh, he's on a bit of tarmac, though. So I'm going to slow him down. Because we're in cars that are generally going quite quick anyway, getting that overtaking opportunity he is fast through this corner though isn't he so he's right up my back side but the car stopped is there no let's try and hug the inside here a little bit deep it's taken away a line for neil just trying to look up the inside here no we're still going to come out in front this is good it'll be nine only nine laps in Seems like we've been going forever. 15 minutes, wow. Well, time was okay. Let's see, the leader's going through at 134, 135. So I'm two seconds at least off per lap than the leader. Which isn't great, but it feels like I'm going fairly quickly and it's quick enough for me, so just doing what needs to be done. So Neil going to get up the inside here. He's certainly closing, he's got the draft. He's on your right. Yeah. Right side's clear.
still think there's plenty of scope for the guys in the front to have problems. That's better. Now Brooklyn's in the field. wide. Good. It's lost me a couple of tenths to mark. Robert's still plugging away back there. Eight seconds back though. Need to be much closer to the right of that last corner to get a good line coming down into the hangar straight. Felix having a go. Hopefully one will touch the other. Is that a bit of a dive? He's just managed to avoid him. Is he going to switch back? Certainly a good battle there with Neil and Felix. Time there to mark. We've only got four laps after this one. Don't really want to drop any lower. A little bit wide there. There's another couple of tents out the window. One incident point so far for the off track. A little bit wide there, but Mark behind has done the same thing. line through there, that helps. Well, it looks like Neil has been able to leave Felix adrift, so it's three seconds. I doubt Felix is going to catch him. Neil's doing all right though. He's behind me for ages and now he's fifth. Mark behind, nice and close. 
three laps to go across the line this time around. Try and make the car wide. Twelve seconds back to Tom, so that's not going to be a problem. If we can just keep Mark at bay and take seventh, that'll be alright. back to 1.3 If I can keep 7th, that's not a bad showing really, considering my first lap on this led to the discovery of what layout we were using, which is a layout I've really never raced, so it was learn it as you go along. This lap's been decent. He's closed up a bit. Two laps to go. Just try and keep a good pace. Mark's going to really have to pull the stops out. He's a lot closer than he was on the last lap. Could be a very, very tense last lap at this rate. As long as he's not past me under bridge. Last lap it is then. A bit deep. But he's not going to get past there. Again, he's looking for trying to switch the corner back, but that's not going to happen because we can just shut the door there. Right, last lap. Let's keep him at bay. Could be tricky on the longer straights. He's got to go for it. bit wide there, a couple of tenths off. Bossy Boss Hammer, nice. Oh, I've dropped a gear. Oh, he's gone on the grass and he's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Bye Mark. Oh, that's a relief. So we then have to look behind. Mark's now been taken by Tom. So he's gone from a sniff of seventh, yeah, seventh to ninth. Neil's not going to be doing anything silly. Felix isn't going to be doing anything silly. I'm not going to be doing anything silly. He puffs of smoke, but no spinning car. Yellow flag there would have been good, but it's not going to happen. So, started ninth, finishing seventh. One instant point in the radicals, absolutely cold. That was good. 
Good race that, I enjoyed that. Fairly action packed all the way through, that's what we like. Seventh place, nice one. Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.